first, fast, accurate. You're watching WSBT 22 News at 530. Well, the weather will soon be changing as we take a live look at downtown South Bend. Fall isn't the only thing changing the look of our area. Downtown South Bend is also undergoing a huge facelift. It is. It all comes after the announcement of 83 apartments and 183 hotel rooms filling the old Chase Tower by 2017. WSBT 22 Suzanne Spencer is live downtown right now. Suzanne, all this growth has people talking. It does about what South Bend is looking like in 10 years, five years, or even tomorrow. This concert behind me is one way organizations like downtown South Bend are hoping to get people to downtown more than just during business hours. Work drives more than 14,000 people to downtown South Bend each and every day, but only 3,000 live there. Developer David Matthews saw that as an opportunity. It took decades for downtown South Bend to lose it. It's gonna take years for us to get it back. River Race townhomes are the latest of his sold out developments in downtown. He says it's a strategy starting with a number of units. It's starting small, testing it, making sure we're not that out of tune and then doubling down and going bigger. And that's what he's done. It started with the East Bank townhomes in 2010, the first market rate complex in nearly 30 years to enter downtown scene. His apartments join a growing list of 300 apartments coming to the city in the next two years. Downtown's typically uh, been home over the past several years to uh, some of the subsidized housing. And so now we're starting to see folks uh, view it as a uh, potential for those market rate units. A study done in 2013 predicted that the city could grow by 1,500 people each year and 100 115 housing units each year for the next five years. We wanted to know, can South Bend sustain all of that growth? I personally prefer living a little bit outside the city. It's a little quieter. There was a lot more activity in the big city. Uh, this is the largest city I've ever lived in, and it has been a little intimidating. The city is seeing its first uptick in population growth for the first time in years. That will create a lot more demand for both shopping and for the restaurant culture, which will complete the feel of downtown South Bend being a vibrant, lively city. Now, many people talk today about the need for a full-service grocery store and pharmacy so that people really have everything that they need within walking distance. City developers and city experts say that those things will come after people start living here, and they're hoping concerts like this one designed to get people out and about in the city will help things. Now, we also checked in to the demand for hotel, and we talked to the city's only hotel downtown here from them coming up at 6. Live in downtown, Suzanne Spencer, WSBT 22 News. Suzanne, thank you.